Hi, darling. That's a bit unfair. Shouldn't you be giving him the piggyback? <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, this is Dylan. Is he with you? No, we just met down the road. He asked if I could give him a lift. <laughs> yeah, he's my grandson. You're a granddad? Yeah. Oh. And my daughter Chloe's got a really bad stomachache. I offered to look after little Dylan for the day. Well, this will show my brother he was wrong. Why? He always said I was looking for a father figure. <laughs> he was out by a whole generation. <laughs> Going out, not staying in, just hanging around with my head in a spin. But there is no need to scream and shout. We're not going out. We are not going out. Sorry. England. 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 <laughs> Supposed to be Germany. The sport shop was closed. <laughs> oh, don't look at me. I, I paid top price for this. The lady in the cancer research shop wouldn't budge. <laughs> Suppose we're just going to have to pretend the 1966 World Cup was between England and St Thomas Aguinas Secondary Modern. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it then. Well, what do you reckon? I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> Hang on, there's more. Completed on time. <laughs> right, let's kick off. So here we are at Wembley for 90 minutes of uninterrupted drama. Hi. Pitch invasion. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I have no idea. They were handing them out at Marks and Spencer's with every £50 spent. <laughs> this guy's grandchild. Shut it. Who'd have thought? My sister going out with a granddad. I should be starting to take offence by now. Thank God I forgot to wear my hearing aid. <laughs> so does this make you a step granny, Lucy? Hey, enough of you silly wisecracks. Show my landlady some respect. Would you like a drink, Lucy? Yeah, that'd be great. What can I get you? Sherry, Ovaltine, cough sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh my God, when? Wait. Slow down. Just slow down. Can you ask them to speed up again? <laughs> OK, bye. Oh, God. What? Chloe's been rushed to hospital. They think it's appendicitis. Uh, can I borrow your car? Yeah, of course. Oh, hang on, I've had a drink. Well, that's all right, I'll drive. Uh, what about Dylan? He'll never reach the steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here all weekend. Enjoy the chicken. Well, he's still fast asleep. Look, we won't be long. Why don't we just leave him here? Oh, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I'm not quite sure if me and Tim are ready to have a baby yet. <laughs> We've always been quite careful in that department, haven't we, sweetheart? <laughs> yeah, we're both heterosexual and I find him repulsive. <laughs> we'll be fine, honestly. Leave the baby with us. Well, it's not really fair to wake him up, is it? Exactly. <laughs> you sure you guys will be OK? Yeah. Be fine. <laughs> we'll be back as quick as we can. Great. Now we've got a baby. Oh, it's your fault. You said you're on the pill. <laughs> He's been asleep for over an hour now. Is that normal? <laughs> you don't know anything about babies, do you? I know loads, actually. I've been told I've got an actual affinity with infants. <laughs> it's probably the jokes. <laughs> Never reached the steering wheel. Oh, how they stared. <laughs> Do you think he's OK? Yes. Do you think he's the right colour? Well, he's missing some of Guy's Afro-Caribbean looks, but apart from that, he's fine. <laughs> I met his complexion. He's all blotchy looking. It's like a combination of red and pale. Yeah, it's called pink. <laughs> <laughs> it's the standard colour for some humans. <laughs> I reckon it's because his head's at a funny angle. All the blood's rushing to one side of his head. <laughs> think that's dangerous? Don't be ridiculous. All right, you can do the explaining when they want to know why he's suddenly become left-handed. <laughs> Stop worrying, he's fine. He's sleeping like a... I'm sure there's an expression for that, but I can't think of what it is. <laughs> I don't know why people say that. 
If an adult really did sleep like a baby, they'd wake up every five minutes screaming and covered in their own wee. <laughs> How is your nan, all right? <laughs> I wish he'd wake up. What are you doing? Opening his mouth, making sure he can breathe. Yeah, if only evolution could create something nose-like to take care of that. <laughs> I think we should be doing something. I'll tell you what, why don't you make a decision drawing on your natural affinity with infants? OK. Let's poke him. <laughs> and at least we'll know if he's breathing or not. All right, if it'll stop you fretting, but I'll do it. Remember what you did to that Pavlova. <laughs> you really have got the most middle-class way of insulting people. <laughs> You're supposed to be trying to wake him, not change channels with him. <laughs> Let me do it. <laughs> oh, great. At least I was changing channels, not the volume. <laughs> well, at least we can relax now. <laughs> Actually, can you put him back on standby? <laughs> Don't worry, she'll be fine. Appendicitis isn't that serious. It's one of those light-hearted illnesses. You know, all the funny ones in denitis, like tonsillitis, cystitis, meningitis, actually, maybe not. What about bronchitis, hepatitis, arthritis? <laughs> Nothing funny about that one either, trust me. You get arthritis? Doesn't bother you, does it? No, of course not. Well, good, because it can be pretty bad on occasions. Sometimes my fingers get so stiff I can hardly take my teeth out of the glass or put cream on my trench foot. <laughs> anyway, it's not full-blown arthritis. Just a little bit of the winter. Hopefully I'll never get as bad as my father's, fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't mean... Oh. <laughs> yes, OK, you've made your point. <laughs> Please! Oh, just change the record. <laughs> oh, that's an idea, yeah. Let's put some music on. Would you like a nice little sing-song, eh? Would you? That's a good idea, isn't it? I'll tell you what, those Teletubbies can turn, can't they? <laughs> Hold him closer to your body, like it's a rugby ball. Rugby wasn't very high up in the curriculum at my comprehensive. <laughs> OK, hold him closer, like it's a stolen handbag. <laughs> Maybe he wants to sit down. <laughs> he looks like a Dalek with the lid off. <laughs> That's an idea. Should we go to space? Maybe that'll calm you down. Oh, look, Dylan, you're in a spaceship. Should we go and see some aliens? <laughs> I mean the nice type like Mork and E.T. Not the hideous type that jumped out of John Hurt's chest. <laughs> oh, well done. Why don't I pop the exorcist on? <laughs> Look, put him on the table. Maybe he's a football fan. <laughs> Please, God, let this baby stop crying and I'll throw away those magazines. <laughs> I didn't say all the magazines. <laughs> Goal. 6-0. It's pretty one-sided, mate. Pull your finger out. Sorry about the look, by the way. We couldn't get a German kit in your size. <laughs> and they say all babies look like Churchill. <laughs> about time one went the other way. <laughs> Bit tasteless, isn't it? Should have seen the first costume. I only changed it because the little tash kept falling off. <laughs> you know? I mean, guten tag. Do you reckon you'll ever have kids? If I ever meet Mrs Wright. You mean Miss Wright, surely? Well, I don't know, I like a challenge. <laughs> it's my kick-off. Where's the ball? <laughs> well, it was there a second ago. Well, it's not now. Did he have that Adam's apple before? <laughs> he must have swallowed it. Uh, uh, 
What are we going to do? It's all right, we'll use a Malteser instead. <laughs> it's not funny. Maybe we should do the Heimlich manoeuvre. The what? You know, we'll count it as a throw-in. <laughs> He's not choking, he's perfectly fine. It might still be in his mouth. Put your finger in and check. I'm not put my finger in a baby's mouth. This from a man who once dipped a flake in a boiled egg. <laughs> Just do it. Yeah, hello, Guy. Everything's fine. I'm just checking for footballs. <laughs> it's not in there. He must have swallowed it. All you had to do was keep your eye on the baby. It's not my fault. Well, whose fault is it? His. <laughs> Bloody Germans. <laughs> No, no, everything's fine this end, Guy. Yeah, he's had his lunch. Lee fed him. <laughs> oh, little Dylan loved it. In fact, he had a ball. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, we'll ring you if there are any problems. All right, then, bye. So what are we going to do? There's not much we can do, is there? It'll come out eventually. What, the truth or the ball? <laughs> the ball. They can't handle the truth. Well, the ball now comes to think of it. So how are we going to say it ended up in his nappy? Well, they won't see it, will they? Cos hopefully by the time they get back, he'll have done a poo and we'll have got rid of it. Did you do biology at school? It isn't just a straight drop-down soil pipe in there. <laughs> It'll take ages for it to come out. We need a laxative. Believe me, the way I'm feeling, <coughs> we don't need a laxative. My nan swears by coconut milk. Yeah, but your nan used to swear that drinking a pint of brandy a day prevents scurvy. <laughs> Tim, can you start showing a bit more faith in me? I know you think I'm irresponsible, but we're talking about a child's welfare here. Uh, two pints of lager, please. <laughs> and you'll have a Coke. <laughs> here you go. Six jars of coconut milk. Six? I'm not bathing an Egyptian princess. <laughs> What took you so long? I was in your ice cream van, wasn't I? And this fell off. <laughs> he hit a kid in the face. <laughs> took a while to calm his mum down. Come on, open your mouth. Please, I'm not joking, open your mouth. Dylan, this is important. I need you to eat this. It's a laxative. Do you understand me? <laughs> oh, I never thought I'd hear you going over someone's head. Give it to me. Hey, hey. Hey, he's a clever boy, eh? Who likes his coconut, eh? Who likes his coconut, eh? Do you know? Do you know who likes his coconut? Who likes his coconut? Oh, I give up. Is it Kid Creole? <laughs> Just stick it in his gut. <laughs> Dylan, I'm a little bit old school, so uh, if you don't eat this, you're grounded. <laughs> and there'll be no television or riding your bicycle. <laughs> he's eight months old. Or breasts. <laughs> yes, that's what we'll do. We won't allow your mother to put her breast in your... You need medical help. <laughs> I know what it is. He's not used to his milk being fed from a spoon. <laughs> See? Now I look like a proper mother. There's a word missing at the end of that sentence. <laughs> Please, Dylan, just eat it. Otherwise, I'm going to tell Father Christmas that you've been evil. You can't. <laughs> Don't undermine my authority. It's called tough love, Tim. If you'd have had a bit more, you wouldn't still be drinking your lager with a dash of lemonade. <laughs> I knew it was only a question of time before you found your audience. Quick, do the one about not reaching the steering wheel. <laughs> you don't think we were putting him off, do you? I can never go under pressure. Even when the doctor asks for a sample, I struggle. Yeah, but you're weird. You have to wait for the gents' toilets to be empty before you can use the urinal. It's a recognised condition. It's called bashful bladder. <laughs> anyway, I'd rather be like me than you. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you can go anywhere, can't you? For the final time, I was drunk and I'd spilt a cup of tea. I did not wet the bed. Don't tell me, tell you one night stand. <laughs> oh, this is like waiting for a firework to go off. Yeah, well, don't get too close, it might go off in your face. <laughs> Come on, mister, can we have our ball back? 
Wait a minute. His expression's changing. Is he pooing? <laughs> Either that or he's just remembered he's left the gas on. <laughs> <laughs> well, has he done it? I don't know. Smell his bottom. <laughs> you do it. Put your finger in his mouth. Smell his bottom. It's like being on a Japanese game show. <laughs> Oh, dear. What does that mean? Oh, dear, he has, or oh, dear, he hasn't. <laughs> oh, yes. For once in my life, shit happens and it's not a bad thing. <laughs> right. All you've got to do now is change his nappy and then you can start panning for the gold. What do you mean, me change his nappy? Why do you do it? You know what Confucius said? He who'll feed baby plastic toys must put hand in smelly poo-poo. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm changing him. You can't put him face down. What are you going to do next? Cuff him? <laughs> do you want to change him? No, you don't. I do everything round here. Change his nappy, feed him his lunch, get him up in the night and breastfeed him. <laughs> and you never make love to me anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, is there a Sir Beauty Bull in there? There could be a basketball in there and not see it. <laughs> You're going to have to have a proper rummage. Please do not make me do this. <laughs> oh, we wouldn't want you breaking a nail, would we? Pass me that pencil. What are you going to do? Right, to Jim will fix it and ask for a bloody peg for me nose. What do you think I'm going to do? <laughs> oh, God. This is like the early stages of X Factor. <laughs> oh, it's no good. It's not in the... Hold that. <laughs> What are you doing? Put his nappy back on before I puke. <laughs> you can't put it back on, it's filthy. Give it a good scrape first. <laughs> Actually, forget the scraping. There's more coming. <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger pencil. Still no sign of it, and you're doing the next one because the smell is starting to get in here. You shouldn't be pooing this much. Hang on, I just realised. What have we done? You can't give a baby nuts. We didn't give him nuts. Yes, we did. We gave him coconut. Coconut's not a nut. <laughs> but it's got the word nut in the title. So is he allergic to nuts for services as well? <laughs> if it's not a nut, what is it then? I don't know, a woolly mammoth testicle. It doesn't matter what it is. We didn't give him coconut, we gave him coconut milk. That's the same thing, it comes from the flesh of the coconut. No, it doesn't. Well, where do you think it comes from? It's monkey wee. <laughs> what? The monkeys wee in the coconuts. <laughs> this is like a special needs edition of Call My Bluff. Do you think he really might be allergic to nuts? I don't know. We're going to have to check with his mum. Phone Lucy and tell her to ask this Chloe woman. I can't ring up and say, don't worry about Dylan, he's absolutely fine. Oh, by the way, is he allergic to nuts or monkey wee? <laughs> well, we're going to have to go to the hospital and find a way of asking ourselves, aren't we? Come on. Monkey wee. Who told you that? It was your nan, wasn't it? Yes! <laughs> Why don't you get back? I'm sure Dylan needs you more than me. Oh, don't worry, he's in safe hands. Yeah, my brother's very responsible. And even my flatmate has his moments. Looking after a baby is probably bringing out the grown-up in him. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, don't worry, I'll be fine. They say at my age there's hardly ever any complications. How old are you, Chloe? 29. Wow! The wicked stepmum's younger than the daughter. <laughs> That's... Strange. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. I think you make a lovely couple. See, nobody thinks anything. It's all in your imagination. Sorry, um, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you and your father to leave now. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Daddy. Get yourself in that car now. I've got plans for you when we get back. <laughs> I was always his favourite. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Bye, sweetheart. Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> Hello. 
I'm one of the surgeons that's going to be doing your operation. <laughs> Dr Whippy. <laughs> it's pronounced wipey. <laughs> That's worse, isn't it? <laughs> so, uh, have you had your appendix out before? <laughs> no, of course you haven't. Just my little joke. Right, just a few uh, routine questions. Have you got any allergies? Allergies? Yeah, you know, the usual. Penicillin, aspirin, coconuts. <laughs> no, nothing. What about children? Am I allergic no, to children? No, have you got any children? <laughs> yes, just the one boy. Has he got any allergies? Yeah, I'm sorry to be rude, but how does that relate to my appendix? Well, we need to know if he's allergic to your appendix. <laughs> yeah, you've lost me. Well, you know what some people are like. They like to take the appendix home, fry it and eat it. <laughs> That's placenta. I know, but some people do the appendix as well. It's all the rage. Think of it as a mixed grill. <laughs> no, that can't be true. Oh, it is, honestly. And surprisingly very nice. Especially with a nut sauce. Does your son like nut sauce? I am not taking my appendix home. I know you're not, but if you did, would you serve it to your son in a nut sauce? No. Why, is he allergic to nuts? No. What about coconut? Oh, you think he might eat my appendix if I made a nice Thai sauce? Can you just answer the question, please? No, he is not allergic to coconuts. Yes. <laughs> Look, are you a real doctor or do I need to call security? Uh, no, I'm a real doctor. This is just a wind-up. It's either that or sew a fake hand into your stomach. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. I'm not a doctor. I know, I want an arse lolly. <laughs> what are you doing? I told you to wait in the van. What if Guy and Lucy see you? Well, there are laws against being parked in an ambulance bay in an ice cream van with a crying, smelly baby that's not yours, but you may have accidentally poisoned. <laughs> yeah. Well, the good news is, we haven't. He's not allergic to nuts. Oh, thank goodness. Now we just have to hope the ball's on its way out. I just wish there was a way of knowing. <laughs> Don't even think about it. What about chalk ice? No! <laughs> So what do you think Chloe thinks about me and you? Oh, honestly, she's cool about it. I've often dated younger girls. In fact, at one time, I was even going out with one of her friends. Really? Didn't that bother her? Not at all. Though she didn't like all the teasing she got in the playground. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> Lucy, please don't let our age gap get in the way. I love you, you know. I know. We sneak into one of these rooms. I'll show you just how old I really am. Really? Do you think they have equipment that does carbon dating? <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> What's that? About? It's his liver, isn't it? If that's his liver, he's the youngest alcoholic I've ever seen. Is this thing actually working? No idea. Price check till nine, please. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Actually, it's a, it's a really funny story. <laughs> well, he tells it better than me. <laughs> Dylan wouldn't stop crying, and we didn't know what to do. Go on. And so we thought we'd bring him down here to see you two, because he was obviously missing his granddad. Uh, there's still a piece missing from this jigsaw, isn't there? Uh, Dylan swallowed it. Shut up. <laughs> and? And then we got down to the hospital and something else happened, which I would tell you about, but I feel I'm hogging this funny little anecdote to Tim. <laughs> we thought, whilst we were here, we may as well show little Dylan the inside of his body. <laughs> we thought it would be educational. <laughs> well, we better hand little Dylan back to you and be heading off. There we are. Ah, oh, sweet. His granddad's eyes. <laughs> I thought for a second you were going to say spleen. Just walk. <laughs> well, I think we got away with that. 
Yeah, yeah perfect. Until they change his nappy and want to know why he started laying eggs. I hope you're not blaming me for this. Why would I blame you for this? Oh, that's right. It's your fault. Oh, stop panicking, you big, soft, middle-class blouse. <laughs> Once we explain everything, they'll understand. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they will. Sorry, Guy, your grandson was having a little cry after he was poked by the Antichrist. <laughs> we tried all the usual stuff, you know, threatening him with starvation, dressing him as Hitler. <laughs> but we couldn't get him to stop, so in the end we had to resort to letting him eat a football. <laughs> but don't worry, it was all sorted. We went to the pub and Lee's alcoholic grandmother recommended we give him a laxative of nice, fresh, nutritious monkey urine. <laughs> That is a very clever woman. She won't wear leather gloves in case she gets attacked by wolves. <laughs> well, she never has, has she? <laughs> anyway, she might be a bit eccentric, but at least when she encounters a little problem, she doesn't start crying and wet her knickers. Yes, she does. You know what I mean? <laughs> you need to calm down. He's only swallowed a tiny little football, you soft, prancing Nancy boy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. How many balls came with this set? One. So he didn't swallow anything? Unless he swallowed everything and were in his stomach. <laughs> oh, on your own? Or is Guy just taking his time getting up the stairs? back to the hospital. Apparently the anaesthetic's making Chloe a bit confused. She keeps mumbling some weird stuff about wanting to eat her appendix. <laughs> Fancy a game? Okay. Well, thanks for looking after Dylan today. What a wonderful job you did. It's all right. I always had a connection with babies. In fact, I recently helped out at a friend's water birth. I got in the water and everything. <laughs> it went very well till the midwife chucked me out. And why is that then? Oh, you know, diving, bombing, heavy petting. <laughs> <laughs> Tough crowd. Goal! One nil already. But then again, I've got an unfair advantage. I've got an extra player, haven't I? Have you? Yeah, look. I've got 11. You've only got 10. <laughs> Am I right in saying that he's not the only one in a whole pile of shit? Not going out, not staying, it's hanging around with my head in a spin, but there is no need to scream and shout. They're not 